Hello guys, my name is Dickin Wolf, and as you can see, we are back into the tutorial mission, the one we made last time. But today we're gonna do something different. So, in the last episode, I told you about different kind of missions. You know, like um, like eliminating a target or saving some hostages, all that kind of stuff. So it's it's really important that you know how to do that, and I'm gonna tell you guys that today. So first of all, there are two ways you can do this. First of all, you can just create a task, simple as that, just like this one. And when you go to the briefing, you see the missions already in the description. They are already listed, like mission one, move, mission, mission two, eliminate target. Now the next thing you can do is make sure that it, is, that it isn't visible on your briefing. So, so it, it, it like, um, it forces you to do a mission and then gives you a new one when once the mission is completed and I think uh, I'm gonna show both of both of them so first of all we're gonna need a unit because we're gonna start with eliminating a target so let's say I wanna have this unit in a building like over here perfect uh, make it make it an enemy and then make it a officer just for the fun of it Make sure it is non-playable and not information. This doesn't really matter too much, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, now, the most important thing you wanna do is make sure that your target has a name because you're gonna use that name in a trigger later on. So first of all, we're gonna call him 01. 01 for Officer 1. And press OK. Next thing you wanna do is make a trigger so it detects that the enemy is actually dead needs no range or whatsoever and you're gonna change the condition you need no activation or type or timer or anything like that not for now at least so the condition is this so write this down exactly like that and then you have to tell the trigger what unit to detect and because we gave it a name which is 01 we're gonna call him 01 and press OK. There we go. Next thing you want to do is, of course, make the mission. So, I'm going to say that it is a great task. If you don't know how to do this, just check out my previous episode. Um, that should make it a lot easier. And we're going to name it Task 2. The title is Eliminate the officer description eliminates the target which is the officer for example destination disabled state is assigned always assigned and then press ok and make a new module for the task state that says it is succeeded and then make another one for the destination of the mission. There we go. Now make sure that you are not grouped together, you know, the light blue lines. It's kind of annoying, but it always do that. Well, it does that. Then next thing is make sure that it's synchronized, so press F5. And create task with the task destination and the task state with create task. And of course, because the mission is to kill this target, which is detected by the trigger, you want to make sure that the trigger is connected to the task state. There we go. We already have our mission. Now, of course, you have to do some tweaks about it because you want to know where it is. So we need a invisible marker, which is called OBG2 for Objective 2. Make sure that it is, that it is empty, always empty for... Uh, showing a destination then <clears throat> you have to change the description for uh, for this destination so let's say that officer is the destination so you need again those pony arrows um, and then marker name equals obj2 close it up 
then make sure that officer is between the between the arrows just like that then slash marker and close it up again with the arrow there and then press ok now um, the marker needs to be where the officer is so let's do that then the next thing you want to do is make sure that the destination is at the target there easy enough right now <coughs> because because we're gonna do like a simple mission that shows on them on the briefing right away we're just gonna connect that great task to our players uh, synchronize them every play because every player wants to see that so wants wants to see this on their briefing and on their map and then just press save and we're gonna preview it there of course I'm gonna be the team leader and here we go let's see at the tasks there as you can see it says move and eliminate the officer so we have now two tasks and because we made the destinations at the uh, markers you can see that they are located right where we left them so we want to eliminate the officer so we're gonna click on it and it shows that it is over there because of our scripting code we used uh, for officer so I'm gonna press OK and that's the first thing we're gonna do so we're gonna eliminate the officer which is whew, wow, quite a ways and of course, same guys again. Man, they have a tough time. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell them to hold fire, of course. Hold fire. Go under the tent, over the hill, and I hope that he spawns right into the into the building. Because it happens sometimes that they are stuck in the ground or something. Um, if that's the case, you need to you need to change the um, the, the elevation of the unit. But we're gonna Waiting. look at that later. So, open the door, duck down, and look at that. Our enemy is right here. So, we're gonna kill him, of course. Officer. There. So as you can see, task is completed, which is eliminate the officer. That's all you need to do for a target. So we're gonna go back, save and exit, go back to our editor, and um, we're gonna make sure that we have to move to the location first, and then we get a new mission, which is eliminating the target. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So. First of all, you want the create task uh, not to be connected to the players anymore. So desynchronize them. Of course, you have to connect them all again to the things. If I can, ah, let me zoom in a bit. So, because you want the create task to be shown once you move to this location, we want to use this trigger. We want to use the trigger of the previous mission to activate the next mission. So we need this trigger to be synchronized with the create task. And of course, you probably think that that's it, but you're wrong. I just said that you don't need to connect them anymore to the player. Well. I made a mistake. They have to be connected. That's basically all you need to do. Just make sure that this task is created once the trigger goes. That's it. So we're going to save the game. You know what? I'm going to move my guys a little bit closer because I don't want to walk all the way. <laughs> Takes so much time. And preview. Team leader again. Let's take a look at uh, briefing. So if we now click on tasks, it doesn't show anymore to eliminate the target because you don't know this mission exists. You no, know, so this is just this makes the mission even more exciting and 
And if you complete a mission, it gives you some kind of uh, feeling that you're progressing in the mission. That's that's this is the way I like to make missions, and I suggest everyone does that because otherwise it's gonna be it's gonna be boring very quickly. So let's see. So we need to continue. Then we need to move to this location, and once we do, it says that the mission has succeeded and we get a new task. There, task assigned, eliminate the officer. And of course, it says task completed, move. So, um, let's see. So we're gonna open our map, go to tasks, and now we see that this is right here now. And for some reason, it doesn't show me. You know what, let me fix that first. You know, it doesn't show like a marker where it is. Um, so we're gonna check that out first. So we need to edit again. There we go. So, at this point I think that um, it doesn't show because the destination is disabled. So we're gonna say module, module position and then move this module to the destination and then save it again and preview I think that's the problem I'm not sure it should be all right tasks just move all right I'm not gonna do that gotta tell my guys to hold fire hold fire you know what let's just tell move them up. to stay On there the there, eliminate the officer. Yep, there we go. Waiting. Now the marker is set. So we need to move over there. So this is one of the ways to make new missions appear once you completed one. It's it's really, really exciting. And it, it really gives you a feeling that you're doing something in this in this mission. At least that's that's what I think. Um a lot of people think it's better to just know the tasks. At, uh but I don't think that's the best. So our guy is there. We're gonna kill him. Contact officer, 75 meters to the right of us. There we go. Officer is eliminated. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I hope it helped a lot. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna go over to making hostages. Um, and how to rescue them and make sure that they are hostages <laughs> because it's not that easy to to make a hostage just stay here without weapons and just stay down uh, and 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 how to make them that they're not being shut down by the enemy um, but that's all scripting codes uh, it's not too difficult once you know the scripting code uh, it's it's not too complicated either it's just something you have to know. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.